So at the time of this recording, Wuthering Waves will be releasing in 10 days time. Everyone's super excited. And with the excitement brewing, one question people have in mind is who to start your account with. So in this video, we'll be going over my top three best standard five stars to go for. Let's get it. Welcome to the pinnacle of gotcha gaming on youtube so just a small disclaimer before we get into the meat and potatoes of this video bear in mind that this list is completely my opinion and no matter what i say or other content creators say make sure to reroll for which character you personally enjoy my buddy clint wolf the mobile messiah touched on this in his video where he got pretty upset that people were forcing him to play the game a certain way so make sure that no matter what you do, you play the game how you like. So that's very important. Also bear in mind guys that this list of who you should reroll for is entirely based off of CBT2. Um, and Kuro Games have come out and said that they will be changing and making adjustments to some of these characters. Janzin, Kalcharo are some of those characters. So bear this in mind, characters will be getting buffed and balanced for the global release. So the disclaimer out the way, the first unit you should reroll for is Verena. Now she's a 5 star unit of the spectral element and her resonator role is that of a support unit. Now what makes Verena like a really good unit is because not only is she the best healer easily without a doubt but she's also able to buff the entire team's damage by 20% for 20 seconds and she can also protect any member of your team that gets hit with a fatal damage and give them a shield so she is going to be a really strong universal support that will potentially fit any team i will make a video uh, talking about the best starters teams at launch and i can already say the verena will be a unit that will con that can fit any team like she literally is universal she can fit any team uh with her buffs and support so the next unit that that you should reroll for is calcharo now some people call him calcharo some people call him sephiroth whatever you call him this guy is insane now he's a five star electro unit and he's a straight up dps unit and he's a dps unit that does electro and heavy damage now why he's worth re-rolling is not just because of his awesome badass design but because he's one of the hardest hitting dps units in the game and he gets even more value if you play him in the electro team comp we will get when yinlin drops five star limited yinlin um, her partner with Kalcharo is literally a match made in heaven uh, she's able to buff all of his electro damage and liberation damage also the electro team comp will literally be the first proper mono team we will get in the game um, at launch and it's super powerful so me personally even if Kalcharo wasn't cracked I'd still be summoning for him just because I personally have an enjoyment for this character and I'm personally invested in this character so he's who I'm gonna personally start with and finally the last unit you should reroll for in Wuthering Waves is Jan Zin she's a five star unit of the arrow element and her resonator role is that of a support now why you should reroll for her is because she's incredibly versatile uh, some may say she's a jack of all trades as Jan Zin's able to heal put up shields and her outro skill lets her buff the liberation damage of characters so having a unit that can do lots of things just like Jan Zin will be very valuable as in gacha games like this support units have the most longevity so you won't have to worry about power creep so units like Jan Zin and uh, Verena have a lot of value and that's why they're on this list and the only reason why Kalcharo is on this list is because of his team comp which and that he's going to get extra value if you pair him in a team with Yinlin but yeah so DPS units easily get power creeped um, in these types of games so support units are the way to go but like I said earlier at the start of this video make sure you summon for whatever character you personally enjoy screw the meta 
meta is only for number crunchers but for those of you who do who are interested in meta that's this video is for you hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more other waves content uh join us in the discord lions pride and until then take care and peace guys This is Escanor, the Lion Sin of Pride from Seven Deadly Sins. Thank you for watching The Pinnacle of Gotcha Gaming on YouTube. The One.